a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Ruby Rose Ruby Rose Langenheim is an Australian model, actress, and television presenter. Rose came to attention as a presenter on MTV Australia, followed by several high-profile modeling gigs, notably as the face of Maybelline New York in Australia. In addition, she has co-hosted various television shows, most notably Australia's Next Top Model and The Project on Network 10. Rose pursued a career in acting from 2008 onwards. She had a small role in the drama Around the Block, and came to global attention for her role in season 3 of the Netflix series Orange is the New Black. She has also had large roles in the action films Resident Evil, The Final Chapter, XXX, Return of Xander Cage and John Wick, Chapter 2 and has co-starred in the musical comedy Pitch Perfect 3, and the monster film The Meg. Early Life Rose was born in Melbourne, the daughter of Katia Langenheim, a 20-year-old single mother and artist, whom she describes as one of her role models. As a young child, she travelled frequently, living in rural Victoria, Tasmania, and surface paradise before finally settling in Melbourne. As a teenager, she attended University High School and Footscray City College. Rose is the goddaughter of Indigenous Australian boxer Lionel Rose and the great-granddaughter of Alec Campbell, who was the last surviving Australian Battle of Gallipoli soldier. Modeling and Fashion Rose first joined the Girlfriend Model Search in 2002, for which she came in second to Catherine McNeil. In 2010, she collaborated with the Australian fashion label Milk & Honey to design a capsule fashion line. The collection, named Milk & Honey designed by Ruby Rose, includes wash jeans, leather jackets and t-shirts. The clothing line was available in selected retailers in Australia. Rose also released a collaboration collection with street footwear brand Galaz. In 2014, Rose began collaborating with Phoebe Dahl, designing ethical streetwear for their clothing range Faircloth Lane. She is featured predominantly within mainstream fashion titles, including Vogue Australia, In Style magazine, Marie Claire magazine, Clio, Cosmopolitan, Maxim, Nylon, and New York Synced magazine. She's been the Australian ambassador for JVC, Australian clothes company Jag and luxury Danish label Georg Jensen. Rose is the face of Maybelline New York in Australia. Since March 2016, Rose has been the face of Urban Decay Cosmetics. In March 2017, Rose starred in Nike's latest campaign, Kiss My Airs, celebrating its Air Max Day. In May, Rose was the face of Swarovski Urban Fantasy FW17 collection launch. VJ career and television personality In order to land her job as an MTV VJ in Australia, Rose competed against 2,000 other hopefuls in a three-week national search. As former VJ Lindsay Rodriguez moved to the United States to co-host TRL, as part of the competition, she downed 100 shots of beer in 100 minutes against Jackass Bam Margera, and kissed strangers on a busy Sydney street. However, she enjoys her job as VJ compared to her previous job as a model. Being a model there is always something they want to change. Whether they want someone a little bit skinnier, a little bit taller, a little bit prettier, but MTV wants you to be yourself, not censoring anything, and not conforming to anything. In 2009, Rose won the Astro Award for Favorite Female Personality. She also traveled to Kenya to highlight the amazing work done by Global Vision International. She appeared in the episode, Media Virgins, of Australia's Next Top Model, acting as a guest judge and also worked as a correspondent for the finale of Australia's Next Top Model. In July 2009, Rose along with Dave Hughes, Charlie Pickering, Carrie Bickmore and James Matheson hosted The 7pm Project, an Australian television news talk show produced by Roving Enterprises which airs weeknights on Network 10. She left the program to pursue her own hosting projects. In October 2009, it was announced that Fox 8 had picked up the rights to UK format Ultimate School Musical, which features ordinary teenagers from a school attempting to put on a music production to a professional standard in just six weeks. The Australian version was produced by Fremantle Media Australia with Rose as host, and aired in 2010.
Rose also hosted the Foxtel Mardi Gras for three consecutive years before becoming an official correspondent for Foxtel for the Vancouver Winter Olympics in 2010. In October 2015, Rose hosted the 2015 MTV Europe Music Awards alongside Ed Sheeran in Milan. Acting career Rose appeared on the first episode of Talking About Your Generation, representing Generation Y alongside comedian Josh Thomas. She was selected in 2008 to act in the Australian comedy film Sweet for Fleur. She also appeared alongside Christina Ritchie and Jack Thompson in the 2013 film Around the Block. Rose credits her 2014 short film Break Free, which she produced herself, for the success of her acting career. In an interview with Variety, she describes how she was not able to get a manager, agent, or audition, so she decided to create short films, as a way of being able to give myself something to do and to study my craft. The film went viral, getting millions of views in a short period of time. In 2015, Rose joined The Orange is the New Black cast in Season 3. Rose played inmate Stella Carlin, whose sarcastic sense of humor and captivating looks quickly draw the attention of some of Lichfield's inmates. Rose's performance was generally well received by the public. She was also cast in a guest role, as the service robot Wendy, in the science fiction series Dark Matter. In 2016, Rose and Tom Felton lended their voices to the animated title Sheep and Wolves, with Rose as fiancé Bianca. In 2016 and 2017, Rose appeared in three action film sequels, XXX, Return of Xander Cage, alongside Vin Diesel, Resident Evil, The Final Chapter as Abigail, and John Wick, Chapter 2, alongside Keanu Reeves. She also played a musical rival in the comedy Pitch Perfect 3, which was released in December 2017. Rose co-starred in the Warner Brothers film The Meg, a shark epic based on the novel of the same name, alongside Jason Statham. The film was released on the 10th of August 2018. On the 7th of August 2018, it was reported that Rose had been cast as Batwoman in the upcoming Arrowverse crossover. Her role has been noted as the first openly lesbian lead superhero in television. An untitled Batwoman series is in pre-production as a standalone series on The CW as well, to air if greenlit in 2019. The casting received criticism from those who felt that the character should be portrayed by someone of Jewish descent or otherwise questioned if Rose was the right actress for the part. Due to the casting backlash on Twitter, Rose abandoned her Twitter account, stating, in part, that she would continue focusing on her upcoming roles. Rose will also star in the action comedy Three Sisters. Music and Charity Work In January 2012, Rose released her first single, Guilty Pleasure, with Gary Go. In November 2016, Rose released and directed the Veronica's single, On Your Side. She is a supporter of many charities, won a charity boxing match, and has traveled to Laos and Africa to volunteer each year. Issues of concern to her include animal welfare, campaigns for anti-bullying and youth mental health, where she works as an ambassador for Headspace. Known for being extensively tattooed, she showed off her tattoos in a photo spread for Maxim Australia and Peter. As part of the campaign, I'd rather go naked than wear fur. In 2014, she made a self-produced music short film, Break Free. Personal Life Rose came out as a lesbian at the age of 12. Because of her sexuality, she suffered verbal taunts and physical abuse from her schoolmates, which led to a suicide attempt. She was also sexually abused as a child by a relative, and has bipolar disorder and clinical depression. With regard to childhood gender nonconformity, Rose said she wanted to be a boy while growing up, and that she was saving up money to physically transition from female to male. She said, it was in my mind as something I wanted to do and then I just didn't. I guess I grew out of it. I even used to sleep on my front because I didn't want to get boobs ever, which I think worked actually. She stated that modeling led her to discover androgyny, and allowed her to model with different gender expressions. She recalled, I remember being at a Yum Cha restaurant with my dad and the owner coming up and saying, excuse me, we're trying to work out if you're a handsome boy or a beautiful girl. It was a compliment and I was shocked. 
and when I thought about it I actually wanted to be a handsome boy. Rose is gender fluid, saying, I am very gender fluid and feel more like I wake up every day sort of gender neutral. This announcement came approximately a week after she released Break Free, in which she visually transforms from a very feminine woman to a heavily tattooed man. Rose stated, however, that she prefers to continue using feminine pronouns. While if she had to choose a sex, she commented that she would choose to be male. She does not feel like she should have been born with different body parts. Seeing the desire her transgender friends had for transitioning, she asked herself if her need to transition matched theirs, and concluded that she is satisfied being gender neutral. I think at this stage I will stay a woman, but, who knows. I'm so comfortable right now I feel wonderful about it, but I also fluctuate a lot," she added. In 2014, Rose announced her engagement to fashion designer Phoebe Dahl. In December 2015, they ended their romantic relationship. Rose was in a relationship with singer Jess Oregliasso of the Veronicas from October 2016 to April 2018. The two had previously dated in 2008. Rose is a vegan. She suggested that people who want to help address climate change should consider what they are eating. In the media, various media outlets have commented on public fascination with Rose's gender identity, gender expression, and physical appearance, including her tattoos and visual or behavioral similarities to Angelina Jolie, Justin Bieber, and a younger Leonardo DiCaprio. In 2008 and 2009, she was chosen as one of the 25 most influential gay and lesbian Australians by Same Same, an Australian online gay and lesbian community. The public and media attention increased following Rose's debut on Orange is the New Black, significantly with regard to heterosexual women commenting on her physical appearance. During 2015, she was the fifth most searched person on Google. Peter named her one of three sexiest vegans of 2017. Emma Title of McLean stated, Rose, resembles an androgynous Angelina Jolie. She is a rare combination of angular and soft. She is a badass with a permanently arched brow and a Justin Bieber haircut. In other words, she is the lesbian James Dean. And straight women are falling madly in love with her. Alex Reese of Cosmopolitan said that everyone was enamored with Rose at the time of her season 3 appearance on Orange is the New Black. The media attention resulted in a new open discourse about sexual fluidity and whether or not sexual orientation can change, with some of the media expressing disapproval toward heterosexual women stating that they would go gay for Ruby Rose. Title wrote that many on Twitter expressed skepticism that all it takes is a pretty face to change sexual orientation, and this was accompanied by the argument that saying, you can go gay for Ruby Rose reinforces the idea that sexuality is a choice and is homophobic. She felt that it was predictable and ironic that the people most eager to admonish others for expressing their attraction to Rose were a part of the LGBT community, and cited a Jezebel article which commented that homosexuality and bisexuality are not simply identities to show off liberalism, but are rather built into a person's biology. To title, this response suggested that one must either reject the norm or embrace it full force. She felt the discussion was a wasted opportunity for sexual exploration, which she believes is a lot less daunting when labels are malleable, and emphasized the idea of letting everyone define their sexuality on their own terms. Rose acknowledged the public discourse concerning her physical appearance and subsequent debate on sexual fluidity, commenting that, while she thought it was brilliant and was not expecting it, some of her friends found the public affection toward her inappropriate. They personally are offended by it, and are, saying like, you can't just choose to be gay. You should say something about all these women that are saying, they're, turning gay. Rose stated that she is more neutral on the topic, and believes people are being complimentary when making such comments rather than trying to be derogatory or diminish the coming out process. She compared today's society to how society was in the past, saying that people would probably watch someone on screen that they were attracted to but not be able to joke about it, because that would be so frowned upon. She said that people should not nitpick you can, or cannot identify as gender queer, gender neutral, bisexual or trans, or tell them how to live their lives, adding that people should let others say what they want to about their sexuality. 
and that this is a message the LGBT community should be supporting. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?